Happy Monday, everybody. Today, I'm going to teach you something called a sun bee. It's a sun salutation like what we did before, but you're going to start off in a different pose. So we're going to start today with some breathing. So we're going to do that. Um, we're going to do four count breath today. So we're going to do breathe in for four, hold for four, breathe out for four, hold for four. This really slows down your heart rate, sends a message to your nervous system that you are safe, everything is good, and you can relax. Okay, so in breath for four, three, two, one. Hold at the top, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold at the bottom, three, two, one. Inhale, four, three, two, one. Hold at the top, three, two, one. One, exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold at the bottom, three, two, one. Last one, inhale really slowly, four, three, two, one. Hold at the top, three, two, one. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Hold at the bottom, four, three, two, one. Again, before we start today, I want you to think of um, an intention for your yoga practice. It can be simply to practice yoga and be thankful that your body moves. I'm going to dedicate this yoga practice to my students, particularly my academic foundation students, because they are working so hard and I'm so proud of them, um, especially to my French 2 students who make me smile and my French 4 honor students who work so hard and try to um, be the best students even though they are on distance learning. Okay, so I love you guys. This is dedicated to you. For Sun B, well, let's start with Sun A's first. You've learned these already in the other videos. So we're going to go up, in breath, down, out breath. Halfway lift, in breath. I'm going to turn to the side. Chaturanga, out breath. In breath, upward dog. Out breath, downward dog. In breath, bend the knees. Out breath, step forward. In breath, half lift. Out breath, all the way down. In breath, all the way up. Out breath, all the way down. And in breath, flow it up and down. Halfway lift and down. Upward dog. Downward dog. In breath. And forward. One more time. We're going to do one more sun A. And I'm just going to call the breath. In breath. Out 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 breath. In breath, out breath. In breath, out breath. Okay, that was a sun A. For a sun B, it's very similar, but we're going to start in what's called fierce pose, which is also known as chair pose. So you're going to bring your arms near your sides, and you're going to sit back as if you're sitting on a chair. So I'm going to turn sideways so that you can see that my knees do not go past my toes. And my chair is pretty low. Some people are on a bar stool, which is just fine. Wherever you are, you might want to bring your arms to prayer because sometimes some people's shoulders don't like that. Okay, so we're going to start here instead of mountain pose. Okay, so everyone hit your chair. Okay, arms up and then forward fold. It's the same from here. Halfway lift, all the way down, chaturanga. Upward dog. Back to downward dog. This is also a little different. You're going to raise your right leg up. You're going to come forward to warrior two. You're going to go straight back down. Chaturanga. Upward dog. Back to downward dog. Left leg lift. Forward. Warrior two. Back to Chaturanga, Upward Dog, 
downward dog. When I do the transition from upward dog to downward dog, I slide my heels. Another way to do it is simply upward dog. Place your feet like this. Okay? And we're gonna come all the way forward. This time I'm gonna hop. Do a little hop forward. Halfway lift. All the way down. All the way up and all the way down. Let me check the time. Okay, we're gonna do a couple more of those. We have time. Okay, so Sun B. Chair pose, fierce pose. Really engage your belly. You want to have your toes able to be picked up off the floor and set back down. Okay, arms up, forward bend. Halfway lift, chaturanga. Upward dog. Squeeze the butt hard when you're in upward dog, it protects the back. Downward dog. Right leg lifts. Now as your right leg is lifted, make sure your toes are pointing straight toward the ground and that your, your hips are level. They're not like this, okay? So you can see that my hips are level. If I was to bring my leg down, my hips do not change, or at least I try not to make them change. Okay, bring your leg forward. This time we're gonna do warrior two. We're gonna add, a flip your uh, front palm up, your right palm. We're gonna do a peaceful warrior. Okay, don't worry about the breath for now. Just breathe. <laughs> and then come down. Back to chaturanga. Upward dog. Downward dog. Left leg now. Take a moment. Make sure your left leg is point, your toes are pointing down. Your hips are square to the floor and your left leg is super straight. My pants aren't giving the super straight impression, but they are. Okay, now you're gonna bring your left leg forward. You're gonna come up to your beautiful warrior two. Okay, you're gonna flip your left palm up. You're gonna come back to a peaceful warrior. And then you're gonna kind of cartwheel back down to your chaturanga, back up, upward dog. Squeeze your butt all the way back up to downward dog. And we're gonna hang out in downward dog just for a minute. I want you to sway your hips side to side. Bring your feet out, almost the distance of your mat. Walk your hands in a little and see if you can grab for opposite leg, opposite calf, opposite ankle. And the lower you go, the more intense the stretch. Okay, so let's try that on the other side. Take your left arm, maybe grab your thigh. You're like, oh, I got that. Grab your calf, grab your ankle, and look under your armpit. Okay? Next, go back to your downward dog, reorganize. Okay, you're going to hop or step forward. Halfway lift, all the way down, all the way up, and all the way down. For the end, I'm gonna offer you a guided meditation. I'm gonna have you sit on the ground, in a comfortable position. I have blocks here, so I'm gonna to choose to sit on my block because it raises my hips up. You can choose to sit on anything you want. Just place your feet in a comfortable position, palms up on your thighs, eyes closed, and we're going to do a relaxation guided meditation. With your eyes shut, I want you to take in a huge in-breath as if you're sucking in the air and the air is this precious, precious element that only has enough for you right now. And you're sucking it in because you know you need it. You're holding it in and you're picturing it going into every cell of your body, permeating the cell wall and re-energizing the cells, sparking them with life. And as you exhale, I want you to picture all the worry, the stress, Everything that doesn't serve you just coming out of your body. And at the bottom of that exhale, before you inhale, I want you to notice if you feel a little calmer. Your arms might be tingling a little. And for now, you're just going to breathe slowly to your own rhythm. And I'm going to picture, I'm going to have you picture yourself being dipped into water. Your toes first. Feel the warm water 
And as this water touches you, it makes you feel like nothing is there but you. You're just floating. Okay, so the water chapels up your feet. All of a sudden, your feet feel lighter. Captures your legs, which are now floating buoyantly. Your thighs, your pelvis. Your lower back now can just float. And maybe sway from side to side. Your lower ribs, your chest, your collarbones, and both of your arms now are suspended in this really nice, warm liquid. All the way up to your neck. And this liquid is special in that it's oxygenated, so you can breathe when you're in it. And you're gonna go all the way up, past your chin, past your lips, past the tip of your nose, your eyebrows, your forehead, and finally you feel the crown of your head disappearing into this thick oxygenated liquid that is, its only purpose is to re-energize you. And you feel yourself suspended in this liquid and you know that at any time you can come back here because you created this yourself. And as I pull you out of this liquid, you're gonna slowly feel your toes coming back to the hard ground, but with a certain wisdom, a certain softness now that they, they know that they're in control. That the outside does not control the inside. And you're gonna slowly feel this oxygenated solution coming up your legs, your knees, your thighs, like a line of warmth, allowing you back into the world with a new set of, with a better perspective, your waist, your belly button, your lower ribs, your chest, your collarbones are now exposed, your arms are feeling heavier, you're coming back to earth. And the liquid's gonna come all the way up your neck, your chin, your lips, your nose now takes a big deep breath into that heavy air. And as you breathe out, the rest of you emerges from the suspended solution. May you have a beautiful day. Namaste.